measuring reflex angle. So this has an extra step to it that obtuse and acute does not have. Uh, you'll notice most of the times you can get full circle protractors, but most people have uh, protractors that are a semicircle. So this does not go past 180 degrees and you've got to um, use the fact that there's 360 degrees in a full turn or a full circle in order to um, work out how you'd measure a reflex angle. So I'll draw a reflex angle, then I'll show you how we measure it. Let's just do a random one, something like that. And so let's come off at this angle here. Okay, so we're going to be looking for this angle here, I'm trying to work out what that is. Okay, so immediately, um, I'm hoping we're confident where the baseline and the cross is now. Uh, we should have looked at that for um, acute and obtuse angles. Immediately, we should hopefully be able to see when we place it here in the correct position. Um, we're going all the way around um, to 180, and we've not even met the other line now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the fact that if you went turned all the way around, that would be 360 degrees. But we're not turning, we're not including this turn here. Okay, so if we take 360 and then we take away whatever that red angle is, that will give us our reflex angle. Okay, so let's measure that red angle. Okay, so this time I've got to hold my protractor upside down, get my baseline in line with that. Okay, I've got to make sure cross is in line with the vertex, this baseline is in line with this line, that's good. Okay, um, let's have a look at our numbers. So we're going to start from zero, so we're starting from here. We're going to measure all the way around to this point here, and that looks like it is on 130. So that red angle is 130 degrees. So we're going to do 360, take away that 130 to work out this reflex angle. So zero take away zero. So that means this angle would be 230. Okay, let's just see if our answer is reasonable. Well, if we were to turn uh, 270, that would be to there, if we were to turn 180 degrees, that would be there. So does it look, if this was 270 degrees, and we're saying it's 230 degrees, that means this angle here must be 40 degrees. So is that just slightly closer to this side than that side? It looks reasonable, I'd be happy with that. So that means this answer, 230 degrees, is a reasonable answer for that reflex angle. So, when measuring a reflex angle, unless you have a circular a circular protractor, uh, you have to look at one of the smaller angles. In this case, I measured that ob obtuse angle here. And then I thought, well, um, if I went 360 degrees all the way around, I've gone how much too far? Well, I've gone 130 degrees too far. So I did 360, take away that 130 to get an answer of 230 degrees.